Yo, what is up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel for a brand new video. It's Lifestyle. My name is Deontay. Hope you guys are having a good day. We're out here with the TL right now and like mentally in my head, I have no clue where this video is going. There's a couple things I want to do, but I don't really know if I want to start today or how much I'm going to be getting done today. So I'm just going to start filming and start taking you guys along the journey. I'm really happy you guys enjoyed my last video of the drive along with the GoPro. I think that was a pretty good idea and I definitely want to do it again. As soon as we get like a new exhaust and a new clutch and this car is running very good. I don't know how soon that will be, knowing me and how long things can be taking sometimes. I don't really know what's going on today, but thank you guys for tuning in and hope you guys enjoy the video. Both front wheels have been taken off. We're letting some degreasers sit on the brakes, rotors, and all inside there so we can clean it up real quick. This side looks really good, but the other side's starting to peel and it's making me want to paint them. I like the black, but I might go red, yellow, I don't know. Or something different, I don't know. I haven't thought about it yet. So as everyone knows, everybody is in quarantine right now. There's no car shows going on. I'll remove the front bumper. It'll be my first time removing this front bumper from the TL. And then expose the whole front end. Um, and just start cleaning everything in and out. It needs to be done, so why not take the time to do it today? And hopefully I can inspire you guys to do this too, because it's just like that work that's really time consuming, can seem pointless, but it's just good for your parts and um, the life of them. I'll show you guys every single step. First time taking the bumper off and that was like a million times easier than I thought. I didn't even show you guys all the steps, I know, but uh, it was super easy. So you guys just see all these uh, pieces right here. So there's three screws right here. If your car has all of them put together, I think I was missing this one right here. Same on this side, these three, and then there's gonna be clips along the, the edge right here. And then the trickiest part is your work away back and forth between the headlights. So there's these factory little clip on pieces right here. See this piece right here? And it slides, the bumper is supposed to slide in right here. Just start on this side, give it a pull, give it a pull, give it a pull, give it a pull, and just keep working to each side until one side gets loose, get the other side loose. Set the thing on the ground, and then once it's on the ground, just unplug your fog lights, and your front bumper is off. But peep that air intake. Man, that thing is clean. Shout out to Acura Honda Classic. They're the ones who taught me how to remove that bumper so easily and that it had the pins right here. So check them out. I'll put a link in their bio. They're doing an Acura TL Type S build too, but they're official mechanics. So they're doing a lot more with the motor and a lot of just like maintenance and stuff, but they do it all the right way. So check them out. Their link will be down in the description. Just removed all the plastics. And here's where the motor sits right here. We're gonna remove the battery, and then I got my water buckets, and we're just gonna go through and deep clean everything I can get my hands on uh, for the next 45 to an hour. Oh man, batteries are so heavy. Maybe I'll do a relocation. If you guys know if there's a kit for relocating the battery to the back seat, or have a link or something like that, let me know down in the comments. The lighter we can make it up here, the more balanced the car will be. So first, we're gonna go over the whole engine bay with degreaser. I actually put purple power inside of here. So we'll just do that real quick. We'll let it sit for a little bit then go over everything with the wet brush and disturb it all. foam cannon we're just gonna go over it's a pump foam cannon and spray all over and do another deep clean
this engine bag is looking super clean. I'm pretty happy with it. I spent at least 45 minutes on this top cover right here. Steel wool, mother's polishing, and a ton of microfibers. And also this wire brush. And, and this is what we got out of it. This front piece right here looks super clean. I haven't touched the back or the sides much, but mainly this, this front piece and this top plate. And it looks a lot better. So I can't wait to take this apart in another future video and do the whole entire thing with the actual air gun. We're gonna call this video the clean and quarantine. <laughs> also remove this light right here. This is the magic stuff that allows none of that yellow stuff to come back and keep your headlights looking how they are right now. So I'll definitely show you guys how to do that. You guys have been requesting a full tutorial for the headlight restoration and I'm working on that. It's gonna be coming soon. So uh, stay tuned. Another thing that's expired from this car, I think are these yellow fog lights. What do you guys think? These were my first mod ever done to the car. The first time wrapping was with this. It presents a lot to me, but I think it's time to go back to clear and see what those look like. All right, it's time to do it. I'm not really ready for this, but time to say goodbye to my first mod ever done to the car. They're all sticky and foggy. Let's try to restore them. So we're gonna use Goo Gone sticker remover. Spray that right on there. We'll take a blade. Just go over the top. Because these are glass, remember. Wipe all the Goo Gone off. We sprayed it with some disinfectant and we're gonna wipe them again. Then our final step, now that they're all clear, is to go over them with the headlight coating to protect them from rock chips and make them even extra clear. Look at the reflection out of them Johns. He's gonna shine bright. Can't wait to put this back on the car. I really did love the yellow, but this is gonna look really clean and a little bit different. There's one more thing we gotta fix though today, and that's this Plasti Dip. Let's paint match it. All right, so we're gonna paint this, but first we gotta get this Plasti Dip off. All right, that took a lot longer than I thought. Check out what I found inside of my little toolbox over there. Uh, perfect paint match for the bumpers. So we're gonna be using this to perfectly paint match it. Let's scuff it up and start painting. Ready to start spraying? Scuffed her up with some 600 grit. Same with that piece right there. Don't forget this black A piece right here. It will be visible a tiny bit, but don't forget it. So this is my tack coat right here. First coat, super light. Just tack it on there so the next coat sticks nice. Paint project is all done and looking really good. It has a little bit of orange peel, but I'm sure you guys had to remove that really soon. Cisco just called me and told me we have class tonight and I'm 50 minutes late, so I'll get back to the vlog as soon as class is over. And we're back. Still got a big mess to clean up. My class is thankfully only like an hour and a half. They don't want to make them too long because we're not really benefiting that much. Online, it's a construction class. It's more hands-on work. They want us in the trenches learning stuff. So I've been out here since 12. It's already 8 p.m. And then it's been nonstop all day. So full cinematic modes. Another day out with the cars. The next morning, guys, I put a cover over it because the neighbors are having bonfires literally every night. I don't know what they're burning, but I was wiping down the car yesterday. And while I was wiping down this area right here, I noticed some chips. And I'm like, what is this coming from? Like, I did not, haven't been driving the car. I do not remember these chips being right here. And I think some of their ashes are coming down and burning on the car. So I threw my cover over it. It's kind of irritating that I have to do this every night now, but if that's what it takes, that's what it takes. Ugh, man, that is heavy. Let's go replace the genuine Honda battery. 
All right, so we're taking this battery to O'Reilly's. Finally replacing the new battery for the TL. It's been a long time that it's been like low and dead and I've been having to needing to charge it, which isn't good for the car. And in with the new guys, we got the best of the best out here. I can tell it's a little bit lighter, but also it matches. $200 later and I think it feels lighter. I'm gonna get right to work putting this bumper back on. You guys saw I put this Type S right here just with some 3M tape and it's staying on really good. Bumper's been fully installed. Now we're working on the battery and you guys can see the size difference. So I think it is lighter for sure and we'll probably just delete this guy right here. Everything's put back together except for this front grill piece. We got the wheels. I was gonna show you guys how to get rid of the orange peel on my grill piece. I gave it overnight to fully heal the paint so hopefully I don't ruin it right now. And then also you see a spot right here and a spot right here. Uh, two bugs landed on it so I had to do another clear coat. So I ended up doing three clear coats and went heavy on the third so we can sand this down and get rid of that. So because there's only three coats on there we're gonna use the wet sand method. So I got 2000 grit sandpaper right here. Got my uh, warm water and we'll start wet sanding it in the same pattern throughout the whole entire thing. Nice and clean. Start in this corner and go really slow. Yeah, you see some scratches coming through it. Hopefully it's not too early. Even after the wet sand, I still see that bug spot, but I'm having a hard time getting my sander in there and I don't want to take away too much off this lip right here. So I'm gonna stop with that right there and we'll get our compound out to start polishing it. All right, so we're gonna be using McGuire's Fine Cut Cleaner and then polish the show car glaze. Get a pad or you can use one of these guys. All right, now with a new clean cloth, you wipe that away. And already you can see the difference between this side that's been compound and this side that just has the wet sand. Now it's time for the polish. As you guys can see, it made a huge difference. I still have that one little spot, but what you could do is cut it down all the way until it's flat and then put another layer of clear, clear coat and then do this process again and that'll fully get rid of the bug. But I don't want to. We'll put on our shine. With this side of the rag, we'll buff it off. Oh, I left the spacers on. I don't know if these wheels are gonna tuck or not. There's my original color, and there's the color of that. I mean, look how close that is right there. Yep, I definitely have to take off the spacer. Teal's back in its home, looking super clean. What do you guys think about the front end? And that's gonna conclude today's video. Hope you guys have enjoyed. Thank you for staying to the end. I know this video isn't like a super entertaining one, but I feel like I've accomplished a lot. The whole front end is clean, engine base clean. It's been another episode of Lifestyle. Thank you guys for staying to the end. I can't even talk and do my outro with my neighbors out there. They're so loud. Like four kids just screaming at the same time for no reason. Like it's really irritating spending like six hours out there because they're out there the whole entire time. So I get no peace while working on the car. I know it's not the most entertaining, but I feel like I've accomplished something through it and the whole front end is just clean. I've got a better idea of where I wanna go with this car and we're gonna start ordering some parts tonight and get some more content for you guys going. So make sure you guys stay tuned, drop a like. We'll see you in the next one, peace out.